In this next section, I'm going to cover listings. I'll be talking about the aim of your listing description, photo essentials, description essentials, and then we'll go live online again and I'll show you some examples of how your listings should look. So listing your products on eBay. What you really need to realize is that your eBay listing description is an advertisement for your product. And the whole aim of this advertisement is to get buyers really, really excited about your products just by reading your description. So then by the time the reader has reached the end of your description, and preferably a long time before that, they really feel that they must buy the item that you are selling right now. You want them to buy it now. That is your aim. But nobody buys something without seeing it first. And that means that your photos are really, really important. Now, it's even more important now than it was when I first started selling on eBay, because these days, so many more people actually purchase online using their mobile devices. So a smartphone or um, an iPad. Um, you can even use a, a Kindle to purchase online. So what happens then when they're using these mobile devices is that the product image that you've placed online within your um, gallery image, if you like, for your uh, eBay listing, it's the first thing that they will see on screen. Now that means that your, your photo, especially that photo that you use in your gallery image is extremely important. Now, when you're taking your photos, you should always use a plain background, use sufficient lighting so you don't want everything to be in complete darkness, um, take a close up, a good close up, non blurry shot for your main image, and then you can take shots showing different angles um, and interior shots if that applies to your product for the other photos. Now eBay have recently changed, uh, or are changing I should say, they've, um, they've recently sent out an announcement saying that they're going to be changing the rules on photos. And these things that I've mentioned here um, are very important for you to take note of because from October uh, you will need to um, always use a plain background. You can't have any text within your uh, photos around your photos like saying UK seller or anything like that and the image does have to be a good close-up shot of the actual product you have for sale so if you can get this right now it will save a lot of flapping around uh, when it comes to later in the year and um, it's necessary to stick to the new rules eBay are putting in place so and most people are able to take um, a decent photo you don't have to go out and get some professional shots done um, of any product you're selling. And if it's a brand new product, then you are going to be allowed to use stock photos um, or photos from the manufacturer or the supplier. And those are likely to be on a plain background and be close-up shots anyway. Um, but it is important that you get um, a really decent photo into your main um, image that you're going to be using as that gallery image um, firstly for the the people who are purchasing from mobiles um, and secondly because it's important to have a really good picture anyway like I said nobody buys something without actually seeing what it looks like uh, buyers want to be able to see exactly what it is that they're going to be either placing a bid on or clicking buy it now for and so the better your photos the more chance you have of getting a sale straight away when it comes to your description, you need to take into account a lot of different things. Now, this um, is a really, really big subject, um, and it's one that I couldn't possibly manage to cover all the details for in one webinar. So um, what I'll be doing is, um, there is information on this in your uh, eSeller Mastery Manual, and I'll tell you where you can find that in a moment, uh, but I will also be going through uh, listings and the description essentials and everything that goes with writing a really, really good listing um, at the live workshop. Um, so I will pick up on this there so that we go through it in a lot more detail. 
the main things you need to remember when you're writing your description are to be convincing, um, to be persuasive. You, you want somebody to be reading your listing and for them to feel that, um, if, you know, if they don't buy this, that they're really going to miss out. It's, they need it. Um, and so therefore they need to buy it. Um, and being convincing and being persuasive kind of go hand in hand. You need to be detailed. Um, and to be detailed, you need to tell a story um, and kind of try and connect with the reader. Every time I write uh, a listing description for eBay, I always write it as if I'm talking to just that one person who's reading the listing description right now. So they feel that I'm talking only to them, not that I'm talking to everybody. Um, and that way you can tell a story um, and you can empathize with him. You can say that you've been in this situation yourself and you needed this product and so you bought it. And then you realized um, that it was so brilliant that you've then gone on to source it and now you're selling it so everybody else can um, also benefit from this amazing product. Um, but you also need to put yourself in the shoes of the buyer, just like you did for the keywords. And you need to remember uh, that you need to speak to them and convey the details of the product as you would like to hear it or read it if you were the buyer yourself. So the absolute essential details your product description should include, and this is a very long list, I know, um, the brand, if there is one. It may be that you're selling unbranded items. That's not a problem. Just don't put anything in the brand section. The price, very important. People need to know that they're, they're getting a good deal. Um, the condition of the item. In other words, is it new or is it used? Uh, people like to know because there are some people who will, who will search for and only buy new items. There will be some people who are looking for used items expecting to get it at a cheaper price. Um, you should always put the size uh, or the dimensions uh, of the product in. And this applies to pretty much every product. Um, from clothing to shoes to a, a tool kit uh, to um, perhaps a, a set of uh, be a beauty product like cosmetic brushes. People might like to know what size they are. Um, you can apply it to almost everything. Uh, obviously, there are some exceptions, but pretty much everything. Put it in um, because the more you put in, the more information is there and the more easily um, a potential buyer can make an informed decision about whether, whether they actually are going to buy or not. The colour. Um, I mentioned the colour um, when I showed you the dress on the, uh, the live keyword searching that I did uh, just a moment ago. Colour is very important. Um, people want to know what colour it is and often if you take a photograph, the colour that comes out on screen in that image will be totally different to the actual colour of the item. Sometimes uh, greens come out more bluey, sometimes uh, browns come out more black. Um, so it's important that you explain what the colour is. Special features um, and benefits are very important and this comes into the part where you need to be convincing and actually persuade the buyer uh, that this is the best thing since sliced bread and they should purchase now. Always do special features and benefits as bullet points because they're very easy to read that way and um, a potential buyer can look at a glance and see exactly why they should be looking to buy this item. Um, I've already mentioned pictures of your product. Um, it's important if you can to try and put uh, extra pictures within your actual listing description as well. Now you can have up to 12 images within um, your initial sell your item form, one which appears as the gallery picture which I've talked about before um, and the other 11 that will appear next to it so that people can click on those and have a look at different angles, um, different shots of the item. Um, but I always include maybe three or four within the actual listing as well. Um, what this does is it allows the the person who is reading your listing to see the item as they read down the description because there's some really good templates that you can get to put your eBay uh, descriptions together which enable you to kind of insert your pictures down the right or the left hand side um, and then add your text 
uh, alongside that. So as somebody is reading, they can actually see the, the, the image of the item as well, um, which it's a really good visual aid. It allows people to see exactly what they're buying all the time that they're reading, which again will convince them to purchase. Um, I've mentioned different angles, always do that. Interiors, exteriors, side shots, um, upside down shots, um, close-ups of specific features, that kind of thing, do as much as you can. Um, past positive feedback. It's really important that once you start building up positive feedback about your products, then you include um, a selection of those comments within your actual uh, main body of your listing description. People like to read that other people have been satisfied uh, with the product um, and also with your service. Um, so this will all help as a potential buyer reads down your description. They'll be able to see, oh, um, you know, five or six other people have all bought this product um, and they've all been really happy and uh, this seller appears to dispatch very fast and there's no problems and everything's super duper. And they can see it there within the listing rather than having to click uh, on your username to get through to your feedback because the worry always is that if someone clicks away they won't come back and you want to keep them on that page um, until they go back up to the buy it now button. You should always include um, a returns policy and guarantee. Um, eBay do ask that you, you do include this because it's important that uh, a potential buyer knows exactly where they stand uh, with returns and with guarantees. Now, with all of my products, I've always offered uh, no quibble um, returns um, within usually 14 days or 30 days. Um, it doesn't matter if there's, you know, the product doesn't have to be faulty or, or anything or not as described. Um, I will offer uh, a full no quibble refund um, if the buyer lets me know and returns the item within that time frame. Um, and this is what you're offering, it's a, it's a money back guarantee. And obviously if an item is happens to be faulty, um, then again you should always offer um, a return and refund or a return and exchange policy for that. Um, also your dispatch time is very important, again eBay do insist that you put a dispatch time within your listing. There is a little drop down box that you can choose for that. Um, and you should always reiterate what your dispatch time is rather than just using the little box that eBay provide. Uh, I always put it in the main body of my listing because if you dispatch fast, um, then uh, potential buyers absolutely love that. Um, and they will are more likely to purchase from you if they know that they can get the product in their hands um, next day or the day after basically. So um, those are the essential details that your product description should actually include. Now again, I know it's a really, really long list, but please don't worry because um, as I've said, unfortunately it would be impossible to go through every one of those in detail during the webinar, um, but I've covered each point in absolute full detail within your eSeller Mastery Manual. Um, and you can find all that information on pages 127 through to 169. So um, that's a nice little bit of reading for you if you haven't got that far within the manual already. Um, now I need to give you a little bit of a don't do. Um, please don't assume that if you include lots of details and write a really long description for your product that it will put people off. It absolutely definitely won't. The more information that you've got within your listing, the fewer questions people will have to ask you. Now, if someone has to come off your page um, and then email you a question because it's not included in your description, um, something they want to know about the product, and then they have to wait for your reply and then you have to answer, and then they have to physically go back and log back in and go back to the product which they may or may not have remembered to put into their watch list, that is so long-winded. Um, and it could mean that you lose the sale in the meantime because people are generally lazy, you just can't be bothered. 
Um, so include everything about the product that you can possibly think of. People don't mind reading a long description. Granted, a lot of people will just scan the um, description and they still might ask you a silly question anyway that you have included, um, but it's better that it's there um, and it's better that people can find the questions straight off or find the answers to their questions straight off rather than having to mess about, get in touch um, and do it that way. So basically, don't leave anything out. Um, even if you think, oh, this is going on for ages, you know, I can't add that and I can't add that. And if I add that, it's going to be, you know, pages long. Don't worry about it. If in doubt, put it in. Um, and also, um, please don't assume that if someone wants information that they will email you. People, like I've said, are generally quite lazy when it comes to buying online. Um, and not everyone will email you a question. Now, if you answer people's questions within your original description they won't have to email you the answer is there um, they see it they buy it's that simple um, you know people can't be bothered um, so just put everything there for them don't leave anything out that is the most important thing now this is also very very important uh, because your products won't sell themselves. It's vital that you put together um, excellent, relevant, accurate, popular keywords in your title and you write a proper, full description um, about your product so that everything is in front of the potential buyer when they come to look at your listing. Um, it all needs to be there for them. You can't just um, get an item, let's say it's a handbag in this case, uh, take one photo, pop that up, and then write one sentence. Like in that uh, example I showed you at the end of the last live section, um, where the seller had literally just written one long line, um, which was just a string of words really, it didn't say anything. You can't, if you're, if you're really serious about selling your products online and making good, consistent, regular quantity sales, then you need to put together a really good description. Now, I know that this takes a little bit of time, but with my strategy, the, the whole idea is to actually find research and source a hot product and then source that product and you continue to sell that product over and over again. So in fact, you only have to write your listing once. Of course, you'll have to tweak it. Um, you may need to change a price occasionally. You might need to um, change a few bits and pieces until you, you get the, the listing absolutely perfect. Um, but you only have to put in the really, really hard work and write a really good listing description just the once. And then from then on, you can simply repeat that description um, over and over for the same product. And actually, what's also important is that once you've found a good format for your um, listing description, you can then use that for any other product. You literally just change what the product is within that listing. So you keep the same format, you would even keep the same template, um, the same layout, but you would just change it, uh, change the words and the photographs to suit the product that you're selling at any particular time. Um, and there are some really, really good templates around that you can use for eBay. Um, I tend to favor the, there's a really good one on Power Sellers Forum, which is uh, powersellersforum.com. Um, and it's a really simple one, actually. It's just a nice, neat box. Um, you get to put four images and you can have them on the left or the right. Um, and it's a really clean layout. It works really well. And I use one of those across all of my listings. So each of my listings are in the same format. It's just different products within those. Thank you.